watching the BSM Broadcasting Network. Great and greatly to be praised. Hello, this is Evangelist Dudley Smith, and I sure hope you're spending your day praising the Lord. I'm so glad you joined us for today's program, and I know it's going to be a blessing to you. You'll be blessed uh, by the anointed music that we have in this program, and certainly edified by the content of our messages in, in the way of uh, teaching and preaching of the Word of God. So, uh, get comfortable. Stay right there. We're going to get started right after this. There is a battle between the flesh and spirit that has raged throughout the history of mankind since the fall of Adam. Yet we can win this battle with the knowledge of the Word of God. The Bible study guide, The Flesh and the Spirit, will give you the tools needed in your conquest for a victorious life. And you can have your copy today by going to our website at www.dudleysmith.net or by calling toll-free 1-800-852-7664. The Word of God will germinate in your heart and empower you to great victory. 
So make your purchase today and arm yourself for the battle of the flesh and the spirit. took me in and then a little light from heaven filled my soul it made my heart in love and wrote my name in burn and then i had a little talk to jesus he made me whole and now let us have a little talk with jesus and tell them all about our faith. Glory to God! It will uh, 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 it will cause uh, a Christ to be lifted up in your life and before others. This is what God wants us to do. So we're not doing things. We don't do things uh, uh, through strife or vainglory, but in the lowliness of mind, what do we do? We esteem each other. We encourage each other. And that's what I'm trying to do here today. I'm trying to encourage you, esteem you, and let you know you can do this. This is not a hard thing. You can do this. I know what I know. Hallelujah to God. There are ones that have gone before us that have accomplished this. And we can do it too. You can do it. Hallelujah. And I can do it. Praise God. And all of us can do it. Hallelujah. If we get the right mind. Are you hearing me? Praise the name of God. Having the mind of Christ. Hallelujah to God. Let, let not every man think on his own thing. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Me, myself, and I. We got to get rid of me, myself, and I. Hallelujah to God. Let us think on the things of others. How how can I be a blessing to someone else? How can I be a blessing to someone else? Praise the name of Jesus that need a blessing in their life. Do I have a word that I can give that's a blessing in my life? Do I have a praise of Christ that I can share? Hallelujah. That'll be a blessing to someone else. Glory to God. I want to lift up Jesus to where it is edifying to someone else. Praise God. Let this mind be in you that was also uh, in Christ Jesus. What kind of mind? A mind that esteemed God highly. Jesus esteemed God highly. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. God was glorified and is glorified in the work of the Son, Jesus Christ. 
God is glorified in the work of the Son, Jesus Christ. And that should be our quest. Hallelujah to God. To please God. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. In First Peter uh, chapter uh, 4, verse 1. Hallelujah to God. This is what he says. For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Praise God. Jesus Christ has suffered in the flesh for us. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. He's went through everything. He was tempted in all points. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Mentally, glory to God. We should have the same mind. Hallelujah to God. Whatever I have to do, hallelujah, to please God, I'm going to do it. Hallelujah to God. You know what he tells us to do with our mind? Glory to God. Because he's now made it possible that we think on things that are lovely, that are just, that are pure, that are true. Hallelujah. That are of an honest report. Hallelujah to God. If there be any worship or if there be any praise in these things, uh, uh, let us think on them. You know, a lot of people go around, they got all kinds of wrong and bad things on their mind. You know what would be a good test? And just to walk up to, you know, some of your good fr Christian friends and just say, what are you thinking right now? I guarantee you some of them would be ashamed to tell you what was on their mind. Hmm. <laughs> they would be very much ashamed to tell you what was on their mind. Hallelujah. But we are to have great, wonderful things on our mind about God. The old song that we sing in the Pentecostal churches when I was growing up, what do you think about Jesus? That means you had to be thinking about Jesus. Glory to God. And we say he, he's all right. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That means that you had to have your mind on Christ. Glory to God. The question is, where are your mind today? Our minds are on everything. Praise God. I've never seen so many people that have been so uh, 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 diverted with technology than we see today. We got cell phones. We got smartphones. We got smart pads. We got iPads and all kind of other pads. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we are inundated by that. And it has captured our mind that we can't get our mind on Christ. Praise the name of God. Well, I got I got a news bulletin for you. Christ doesn't have a smartphone. Hallelujah to God. He doesn't have iPad. He ain't on iTunes. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Our mind on things above. We're thinking on things above. We're thinking on things of a good report that are virtuous. Hallelujah to God forevermore. That are lovely. Praise God. When your mind is on the right thing, hallelujah, you're lifting up Christ in your soul. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You see, he should be lifted up because when he's lifted up, praise God, the Bible says he will draw all men unto him. Hallelujah. When Christ be lifted up, where? Lifted up where? He's already been lifted up. Glory to God on the cross. Hallelujah. To God. We've started there. Now we need to lift him up in our life. Hallelujah to God. So he will draw all men unto him. Praise God. And as you as you live your life lifting up Christ, praise God, then others will be drawn. Hallelujah to Christ in your life. Glory to God. Well, the simple mindset is this. But think about it. Hallelujah to God. Can people see Christ in your life? If they can't, maybe because you have him too low among all the stuff, glory to God, that will, that will block the view of him. You know, you got him behind things. You got him hid behind your worldly activity. Oh, come on, somebody. Because they can't see, but when you lift him up, hallelujah, God, then now somebody can see him. Somebody can see Jesus in your life when you lift him up, hallelujah, and he's lifted up, praise the name of God. When he's lifted up above worldly activities, when he's lifted up, praise God, in your heart and in your mind and in your praise, praise the name of God. When you, when you lift him up, others will see him, and then when they see him, they'll be drawn unto him. God wants to use us as a tool of salvation. Are you hearing me? A tool of salvation. You become the conduit to expose salvation to somebody else's life. You're conduit to expose salvation 
to someone else's life. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. So we have that same mind that Christ had to lift up God. Hallelujah. To expose God to a lost and dying world. We're going to expose Christ to a dying world. Praise God. We want to continue to lift up Jesus. Bless the name of God. We want God, hallelujah, to do a work in our life. Praise God. That causes us to become such an example, hallelujah, in, uh, uh, to our neighbors and uh, in our communities. And uh, praise God, in our societies. Praise the name of God. We want Christ to be lifted up. Hallelujah. Brought up from the shadows of this world. Praise God. Hallelujah. And lifted high for the world to see. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. Praise God. Glory to God. We look. Uh, for his glorious appearing, glory to God, and looking and, and looking to the day that he will come back and receive the church unto himself. Hallelujah, God. This is an, another a way we lift up Christ. Praise God. In Titus chapter 2, verse uh, uh, 11 uh, through 14, For the grace of God that bringeth forth salvation had appeared unto all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Looking for, excuse me, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he, he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good work. Praise the name of Jesus. Look what Titus is saying here. Praise God. The, uh, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. How do we live? Praise God. Soberly, righteously, and godly. Soberly, doing the right things, having, <laughs> having a clear mind to do the right things, righteously, following the right things of God. Hallelujah, God, righteously and godly. Praise the name of God. Mimicking, praise God, the godly, a the godly nature. Praise God, having a godly nature. Praise the name of God. Where? Not in heaven, praise God, glory to God, but in this present world. This is how we should be. This should be. Praise God, uh, the impression that we get over to others. Hallelujah. This lifts up Christ in our life. Yes, it does. Praise God. We are all, we're, 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 we're forever looking for uh, 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 the return uh, and the appearing of, his, of Christ, his glorious appearing. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I'm looking forward, hallelujah to God, to going to heaven. <laughs> I'm looking forward to going to heaven, not the Disney World. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm looking forward to going to glory to be with my Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because I understand, hey, my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Glory to God. My ticket's already been punched. Praise God. So I'm looking forward to going there. Hallelujah. When he comes to receive the church unto himself, his body, his bride unto himself. Praise God. I look to be in that number when the saints come marching in. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah to God. Because I understand, hallelujah, that he gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all of our iniquity. Uh, have you been redeemed from your iniquity? Do you know that Christ redeemed you at the cross? Yes, he did. When his blood spilled down that rugged cross, he redeemed you from all iniquity. Praise God. He made us zealous under good works. Oh, can't wait to get to church. <laughs> can't wait to get in the presence of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Can't wait to get to where they're praising and magnifying God. Zealous for good work. Oh, hallelujah, David said, I was glad when they said unto me, Let's, let us go in the house of the Lord. He, he, he's zealous. 
Praise God for that. Zealous for good works. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. I'm zealous, praise God, when God sends us out. Praise God to, uh, to, to hold revivals and hold meetings. Praise the name of God to magnify and glorify the Lord. I'm zealous for that. I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it as much as God will allow me to. Praise God. And even more. Hallelujah. I'm zealous for that. Praise the name of Jesus. Why? Because I'm redeemed. Hallelujah. And my life then shows that I am redeemed. Praise God. In Matthew chapter 24, verses 42 and, and, and 44, or 42 through 44. Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord cometh. But know this, that uh, if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Be, uh, therefore, be, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man may come. Jesus is coming back. Praise God. Glory to God. Jesus is coming back. That's a scripture, and I do not know exactly where it is. Praise the name of God. But it says when he returns, will he find faith in the earth? When he comes, what, what he's going to find in the earth? Will there be much faith in the earth? Praise God. we got to keep faith alive in Christ. You hear what I'm saying? Not faith in man, not faith in stuff, not faith in things, but faith alive in Christ. Hallelujah to God forevermore. So that we can be ready when he comes suddenly, praise God, the trump is going to sound and they that are dead in Christ shall rise first and we which are alive and remain uh, shall be caught up to meet him in the air, praise the name of God. It's a sad thing when Christ comes back, glory to God, hallelujah to God, and I haven't done anything to lift him up and I'm caught doing the wrong thing in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, glory to God. We don't ever want to be caught there, hallelujah, but we want to be in a place doing the things, living a virtuous, uh, zealous life for God continually in every part of our existence, lifting him up, lifting up Christ, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Endeavor now to set your mind and your heart and say, I'm going to do this thing. I know I can do this thing. That I'm going to give myself holy and acceptable uh, uh, under God to do this, to be a lifter up of Christ. Hallelujah to God. I'm going to lift him up in my spirit and in my soul and in my mind. Glory to God. I'm going to lift him up in my deed and in my word. I'm going to lift him up. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And, and by that, I will enjoy the abundancy of God in my life. Praise the name of Jesus by constantly lifting up Christ. Praise the name of God. Let this word, glory to God, be a blessing to you. Hallelujah to God. Go back over it, study it, get it in your heart, get it in your spirit. Hallelujah to God and live out the word of God in your life. Lift up Christ because it's his desire for our life. Thank you for being here with us. I hope to see you again. God bless.
Well, let's see, my time has come and gone for today's program, but I pray, God, that you were richly blessed and touched by the presence of the Lord. I want to take a moment right now and pray for you and all of your needs. I believe that if you join your faith with ours, praise God, that God will meet your need today. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for your provisions that you made for, from Calvary, Father, provisions of healing, God, deliverance, salvation. Father, we ask you right now, Lord, to touch these, your sons and daughters that listen to this program, Father. Lord, let there be healing where there need to be healing right now. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you're healed. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you're delivered and set free. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you, Father, that you're meeting needs right now, Father. No matter what they are, nothing is too hard for you, God. Now we're going to give you glory and we're going to give you praise for all these blessings in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Praise God. Again, we thank you for joining us. And if this program has been a blessing to you in any way, shape or form, please uh, email us at DudleySmith at BellSouth.net. That's DudleySmith at BellSouth.net. You can also go to our a Facebook page and contact us that way. Now remember, any of the musics and books that are advertised on this program can also be purchased from our website at www.dudleysmith.net. Praise God. Again, we thank you for joining us today and tune in again uh, next week for another edition of The Abiding Word. See you again. Hi. This is Linda Smith. For great gospel music by Evangelist Dudley Smith, go to www.dudleysmith.net and click on the Dudley Smith Radio tab. You will get online Christian radio at its best. Not only will you hear music by Dudley Smith, but also by artists such as The Crab Family, Dottie Rambo, The Tallies, Janet Paschal, and many, many more. Remember, Go to www.dudleysmith.net, then click the Dudley Smith Radio tab. You will be blessed all day long. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a Salvation Purchase Purchase of God Born of His Spirit Oh, and I'm washed in His blood
know it's perfect Submission Oh yes Oh and all Is at rest Oh yes Oh I In my say I'm happy and blessed. Oh, watching, watching and waiting. Oh, looking up, looking up above. And I'm just lost, I'm lost in love Well now this is my soul yeah. Yeah, this is my soul Yes it is, I'm breathing Oh, 
that will bring peace into your life. This is music that will calm your spirit and bathe you in God's blessed presence. If you are like most Christian music lovers, you love good worship music, and there is none better than our CD, Worship in the Presence of the Lord. Ten wonderful songs that usher in peace, joy, celebration into your life and heart. Go to our website now and get your copy today. That's www.dudleysmith.net and click on the bookstore tab. Start enjoying your personal worship experience right now.
are watching the DSM Broadcasting Network. To be praised. Hello, this is Evangelist Dudley Smith, and I sure hope you're spending your day praising the Lord. I'm so glad you joined us for today's program, and I know it's going to be a blessing to you. You'll be blessed uh, by the anointed music that we have in this program, and certainly edified by the content of our messages in, in the way of uh, teaching and preaching of the Word of God. So, uh, get comfortable. Stay right there. We're going to get started right after this. Hello, this is Evangelist Dudley Smith. If you hadn't gotten your copy of My Sins Are Gone, you are missing a treat. I tell you, this is a wonderful, wonderful CD that we have just finished a few months ago. We're getting wonderful responses of how good this music is and how it has been blessing others around the country. You want to get your copy today, and you can do so by going to www.dudleysmith.net. 
on this CD, there's such songs as My Sins Are Gone, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, Oh, I Want to See Him, Oh, and many, many more. And I guarantee you, you'll listen to this CD over and over and over again. Get this CD and play it in your house. I guarantee you, it'll bring peace in your home and just bless the lives of those that listen with you. Go to our website at www.dudleysmith.net and get your copy today. And I tell you, we look forward to hearing from you.
We pray that you're having a wonderful day in the Lord. The Lord is good all the time, as they say, and all the time God is good. We have a fascinating, just wonderful uh, subject for this particular class. Uh, and uh, it actually, it's a, a three-part title uh, uh, that says, Seeing God's Grace, and I like to say also, Being God's Grace, and Receiving God's Grace. There's a lot said today uh, about the grace of God, and some of it is, a lot of it is, 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 is a bit erroneous and a bit uh, 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 small uh, in his scope and in his teaching. Praise the name of Jesus. But we're going to endeavor to look at uh, grace in, 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 a, in a sense that it encompasses all things, that it encompasses all things. And we are going to really get into the scriptures and we're going to see if something fascinating, how that we can see God, God's grace, how that we can be God's grace, and how that we can rightly receive God's grace in the right frame of mind and, and, and all. So we're going to take our scripture today from the book of Acts. So if you have your Bibles, uh, turn with us to the book of Acts, chapter 11, verse, verses 19 through 23. And the word of God reads, Now they which were scattered abroad upon the persecution that arose about, Stephen traveled as far as Phoenice, and Cyprus and Antioch, preaching the word of God to none but unto the Jews only. And some of them were men of Cyprus and Cyrene, which when they were come to Antioch, spake unto the Grecians, preaching the Lord Jesus. And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed and turned unto the Lord. Then tiding uh, of these things came unto the ears of the church, which was in Jerusalem, and they sent forth Barnabas that he should go as far as Antioch, who, when he came, had seen the grace of God, was glad and exhorted them all that with purpose of heart they would receive and cleave, rather, unto the Lord. Amen to God. Glory to God. This is a fascinating, fascinating a, a piece of scripture here. Glory to God that that uh, that really gets gives gives us a glimpse into seeing the grace of God. And that's what we want to do. And that's what we want to find out. How can we know the grace of God and having the grace of God is one thing. Knowing the grace of God uh, is another thing. Uh, recognizing when uh, are the operation of the grace of God. You see, uh, too many people today, you know, they trample the grace of God. I'll share with you a vision that God had given me when we were off preaching uh, in, <clears throat> in another country. Praise God. And, and, and God giving me a vision uh, concerning the grace of God. But let me uh, uh, say this before I get into that. That the grace of God is something that we need to take uh, not likely, but importantly. It's an important uh, thing in our life. God's love is not to be taken for granted, glory to God. Shall we continue in sin that man, uh, uh, that grace may abound rather? Shall we continue in sin that grace can handle everything? Praise God. Paul said, God forbid, glory to God. I think that it is important that we learn how to handle and have the grace of God working in our life to its fullest, to its fullest. Praise the name of Jesus. Now, when we talk about the grace of God. We talk. We we, we often think about uh, <clears throat> unmerited favor. Glory to God. Unmerited favor uh, is not really when we say grace. What is grace? Grace is an unmerited favor. Well, unmerited favor is not really uh, an adequate description of the grace of God. It is a partial description. But we want to get the whole thing. I don't know about you, but I want to know all about the grace of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. The grace of God is something that we have to have and we have to, we have, to uh, 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 have employed in our life for us to, you know, uh, uh, to walk a godly life, to stay safe, 
Glory to God. By his grace, he lets us know that he's with us, he's in us, and he's for us. Did you get that? By his grace, he lets us know that he is with us, that he's in us, and that he is for us. Praise the name of God. Now, Vine gives a definition of the grace of God. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah to God. That says this, that which bestows or occasions pleasure, delight, and causes favorable regards on the part of the bestower, the friendly disposition uh, from which the kindly acts proceed, graciousness, loving kindness, goodwill ge generally, especially uh, with reference to the divine favor of grace. Glory to God. Grace is a divine favor, not just an unmerited favor, but grace is a divine favor. Praise God. You know when you have favor with someone, someone likes you and they, uh, they, 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 they do things for you. Glory to God. They think about you. Well, glory to God. When they're doing other things, they think about you. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God, uh, 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 they, uh, they have, uh, they show a goodness to you, they're gentle to you, they're kind to you. Praise Jesus, hallelujah to God. And so uh, you want, we want the favor of God working in our life, glory to God. We want God to be kind and gentle and all of those things, glory to God. But we got to be mindful that we handle God's grace uh, correctly. <clears throat> Now, there have been many that have gotten on the bandwagon of the unmerited favor definition of grace, but they, glory to God, have really handled God's grace, uh, 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 you know, just not, not well, let me put it that way. They haven't handled it well. Unmerited favor. Thank God for unmerited favor. Hallelujah. Let me say that uh, uh, first off. Thank God for um, unmerited favor. Hallelujah. Now, when you think about unmerited favor, you think about something that you did not even earn. You did not earn this favor. You did not earn this grace. Praise the name of Jesus. But God gave you his goodness and loving kindness out of his own being, out of his own divine nature. Praise the name of God. I taught a series one time on the goodness of God. Hallelujah. And we're glad that God is a good God, glory to God. You should be able to testify that God is a good God. Out of, out of God's unmerited favor should come a testimony. You ought to have a testimony of all the things that God has done for you by his grace. Hallelujah to God. How his grace was shed uh, uh, upon your life, glory to God. How can we recognize Glory to God, God's grace, hallelujah. Sad to say that most people, a lot of people put it this way, don't recognize God's grace. You hear people saying, well, man, I was lucky. Glory to God, hallelujah. They were lucky. Uh, uh, luck has nothing to do, hallelujah, with the goodness of God in your life. It's God's love for you that guides your life, that protects you, hallelujah, that heals you, that blesses you. It's God's goodness Hallelujah, that is flowing out of his grace toward us. Hallelujah. And I tell you what, uh, uh, that's enough to make you want to lift your hands and praise the Lord and give him glory all the day long because God is that kind of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, uh, uh, when we uh, again talk about unmerited favor, we thank God for unmerited favor. But you know, I want to know, hallelujah, when God's grace is working toward my life and in my life. As I mentioned just a moment ago, uh, we were preaching a meeting uh, uh, in another country and uh, uh, my wife and I had had a tremendous meeting that day and uh, had gone out to eat and, and came back and, and uh, uh, was just uh, bathing in the presence of the Lord uh, uh, as we uh, settled down for the night. Praise God. And, and, and during the early morning hours of the next day, uh, the spirit of the Lord came upon me and gave me a vision or a dream. Glory to God, of the grace of God. And in the dream, I felt and I heard God's voice uh, in, a, in a brokenness like I've never 
heard before, never heard God's voice in a brokenness, but he shared with me that his heart was broken. And I began to weep. Uh, that spirit of, uh, of brokenness came over me and I began to weep and I wept for uh, a better part of two hours. It seemed like two hours I wept, praise God, because I could feel God's hurt and I can feel his disappointment and I can feel uh, uh, how he's been let down. Glory to God. Uh, and it was so real to me in my heart and in my spirit. And as uh, I, I wept before God, God was telling me how heartbroken he's over, he is over his people and how they handle his goodness and how they won't be uh, obedient enough to follow his word, to know that his goodness and his grace has come to their life uh, to make it better. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And I kept hearing this. And the more he would tell me these things, the more I began to weep and I could not stop crying if I wanted to. My spirit just wept with God. Uh, glory to God over his uh, uh, his broken heart. Praise the name of Jesus. And all of a sudden I was whisked away uh, in the spirit. Praise God. And I went to a field and in the field was a tree, a beautiful tree. Uh, in that field in a nice green uh, meadow in the middle where it's set. Glory to God. And I heard a voice say, come to the tree. And I walked to the tree. Praise God. And I met the voice of God under that tree. Glory to God. And, and, and I felt God's heart again, even more intensely broken uh, uh, over his uh, uh, people. Glory to God. And God began to speak to me again. Glory to God. He said, look down. And I looked down and under my feet, flowers began to bloom. I mean, beautiful flowers, just big, big plumages of, of flowers of all different colors, all different pastel colors, all different primary colors, uh, red and blue and yellow and purple and, uh, and pink and any color in between. And they just begin to bloom in abundance under my feet. And I looked around and, and I was captivated, uh, captivated by that vision. And, and I asked God, uh, uh, what is this? What is, why is all these flowers blooming all of a sudden? He said, you're standing on my grace. This is how my grace undergirds you. This is how my grace is put forward to you. It blooms like a flower. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God's grace blooms in our life like a flower whenever uh, we need it. Hallelujah to God forevermore. And I looked at this uh, 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 in amazement. Glory to God. All of a sudden, the skies got a little dark and clouds began to gather up. And out of the cloud, it's come this big, I would say, uh, a big foot, looked like a foot of onyx stone, a big black onyx stone foot. And he began to step on the flowers and crush them and crush them and crush them all around me and kept crushing them. And I said to God, why is this happening? Why are the flowers being crushed? He said to me, this is how my heart is broken. Man has trampled my grace. Man is trampling my grace. The church is trampling down my grace grace. Every time it blooms in their life, he tramples them down. And I, 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 and, 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 and I can sense such an intense, such an intense sorrow that we are mindless at trampling God's grace. We don't even know we're doing it. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. God called the church, glory to God, to a sinless state to attain, to strive for a, a sinless state. Yet we let the works of our flesh trample God's grace. Oh my God. Hallelujah. I wept and I wept and I wept. Praise God. And, 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 and soon after, hallelujah, God released me. Hallelujah to God. And I woke up in the middle of the night and, 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 and uh, I was wet from tears, just wet from tears and been in awe of that vision ever since uh, 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 that, 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 that day. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I don't know about you, but I don't want to trample uh, and misuse 
and trod on the grace of God like it means nothing. Glory to God. You know, when a man says, I don't want God, hallelujah, what he's saying is, I don't want God or his grace. I don't want God's favor. I don't want anything from him. I don't want his love. The Bible calls that kind of man a fool. Glory to God forevermore. Hallelujah to God. So as I think about that, praise God, I think it's imperative for us to get into this lesson, glory to God, about the grace of of God. Hallelujah to God. You ought to be saying in your heart and your mind right now, thank God for your favor, God. But I want more than just your favor, God. I want everything, hallelujah, that you have for me, that your grace brings to my life. I want it all. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God forevermore. When, when Barnabas went, glory to God, to, to, to Antioch, glory to God, the Bible said he saw the grace of of God. Did you know that you can actually see and look upon the grace of God? Hallelujah. Glory. He saw the grace of God. Hallelujah to God. We can't understand the grace of God unless we can see the grace of God. Praise the name of God. In Acts 11, uh, 23, uh, this is what the word said, who when he came, talking about Barnabas, uh, he had seen the grace of God, was glad and exhorted them all. Uh, that with purpose of heart, they would cleave unto the Lord. Glory to God. Now, I want you to see something here that when Barnabas came uh, 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 to Antioch, the Bible says he saw the grace of God and it caused something in his heart. That was something reactionary when he saw the grace of God was that he was glad. Hallelujah to God. The grace of God ought to make you smile. Praise the name of God. The, seeing the grace of God Oh, to make you smile. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. When you see the grace of God, hallelujah to God, it ought to bring a joy in your heart. Glory to God. You say, well, uh, I, I, I need to know when I see the grace of God, God's grace. I need to know when I see God's grace. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah to God. What, you know, hallelujah. When God's showing favor, when you're seeing someone else doing good, when you're seeing someone else blessed, Praise God. That's the favor and that's the grace of God on their life. Sad to say too many of us don't like to see other people blessed. Don't like to see other people doing well. Don't like to see other people performing well. Glory to God. Don't like to see other folk successful. We are angry and mad at, at God showing grace to someone else that comes out of a sin nature, that comes out of our flesh. We do not uh, 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 celebrate uh, other people's good fortune. Let me put it that way. Glory to God. Hallelujah to God. We don't encourage one another in, uh, in good works. Glory to God. We got, we got too much negative to say. Uh, we got too many negative thoughts and a negative heart uh, toward one another. That's trampling God's grace. Hallelujah. But when you see someone else doing well, when you see someone doing good, Praise the name of God. It should bring about a gladness like Barnabas had when he saw God's grace working. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You see, we got to have our hearts changed to heart like God. Praise God. We got to have our hearts changed, folks. Hallelujah. From a stony heart to a fleshly heart. We got to have our hearts changed to a heart of compassion. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. To understand and recognize God's grace, not only in our life, but in some. Well, it seems our time has come and gone for today's program, but I pray, God, that you were richly blessed and touched by the presence of the Lord. I want to take a moment right now and pray for you and all of your needs. I believe that if you join your faith with ours, praise God, that God will meet your need today. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for your provisions that you made for, from Calvary, Father, provisions of healing, God, deliverance, salvation. Father, we ask you right now, Lord, to touch these, your sons and daughters that listen to this program, Father. Lord, let there be healing where there need to be healing right now. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you're healed. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you're delivered and set free. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you, Father, that you're meeting needs right now, Father. No matter what they are, nothing is too hard for you, God. Now we're going to give you glory and we're going to give you praise for all these blessings in Jesus' name, amen.
and amen. Praise God. Again, we thank you for joining us. And if this program has been a blessing to you in any way, shape, or form, please uh, email us at DudleySmith at BellSouth.net. That's DudleySmith at BellSouth.net. You can also go to our Facebook page and contact us that way. Now remember, any of the musics and books that are advertised on this program can also be purchased from our website at www.dudleysmith.net. Praise God. Again, we thank you for joining us today and tune in again uh, next week for another edition of The Abiding Word. See you again. Hi, this is Linda Smith. I head the prayer ministry here at Dudley Smith Ministries. My husband and I, we've been to so many places and seen so many miracles take place in the lives of those we pray for. We want to pray for you as well. Take a moment and send us your prayer need by going to www.dudleysmith.net. Our prayer team will pray over your prayer requests daily because we care for you and we want to see God answer all of your needs. He's doing miracles every day. Remember, go to www.dudleysmith.net and send that request in today. We look forward to hearing from you and seeing God meet all of your needs. This is Sister Linda Smith letting you know that someone is always praying for you. We love you, and may God supply all of your needs by His riches. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
The Lord is doing some wonderful things through this ministry, and we are expanding in our reach in gospel works. We are getting more and more invitations to do crusades on foreign soil. Additional opportunities to expand our TV broadcasts have come to our door. Plus, we desire to feed more hungry families through our Feed Hungry America campaign. We're asking you to help meet the needs of this ministry by giving a gift of ten dollars, twenty dollars, fifty dollars, or even one hundred dollars. We know there are many ministries and charities vying for your donor dollars, but if you believe in us and the gospel we preach, please consider becoming a partner donor with us. We would honestly appreciate your help. Go to our website at www.dudleysmith.net and click the Partner Giving tab in our bookstore to send your donation today. It is safe, quick, and all gifts are tax deductible. We sincerely thank you for your giving and know that God will bless you richly for doing so. May you always prosper and be in good health. Amen. Hello, this is Evangelist Dudley Smith. If you enjoy the music of this ministry, then you need to get our flagship CD, Born Again. You can go to www.dudleysmith.net and order it today. This CD contains such songs as, You Must Be Born Again, God Is My Refuge, Look For Me Around the Throne, and He's Been So Good To Me, and many, many more. This CD will bless your heart and cause a refreshing to come in your spirit. That's Born Again, and you can order it off our website today at www.dudleysmith.net. Do it right now. You'll be glad you did. Thank you for watching the DSM Broadcasting Network.